All right, so today we're going to be talking about the alternative theory of acids and bases. This is sometimes referred to as the Bronsted-Lowry theory of acids and bases. So when you see Bronsted-Lowry theory and alternative theory, they mean the same thing. So I'm going to start us off with four letters, A, D, B, A. Now I did not just misspell a Swedish singing group, okay? This is ADBA. ADBA. And what that stands for is acids donate, bases accept. Okay, acids donate, bases accept. And we're going to look at how that plays into the alternative theory now. So in the Bronsted-Lowry theory of acids and bases, an acid is any substance that donates a proton. That's your AD, acids donate. And bases are any substance that accepts a proton. Bases accept. Add, ba. Acids donate, bases accept protons. Now, where does this proton come from? Well, the proton itself is just a hydrogen ion. Because if you remember, hydrogen only has one proton and one electron. If hydrogen forms an ion where it gives away its electron, all it has left is a proton. So that proton that is being donated and accepted in this case is really a hydrogen ion. And we can see that here in our example. So if you look, first we have hydrochloric acid and here we have water. If you notice, the hydrochloric acid has one hydrogen, the water has two. When we look in our products, now our water is no longer a water, it's a hydronium ion, which means it started out with two hydrogens and now it has a third. Where, where did that hydrogen come from? It came from our hydrochloric acid. So our acid donated this hydrogen that then was accepted by our water and became a hydronium. All right, we'll look at that in a little more detail. So in our Bronsted-Lowry theory, acids donate protons, bases accept protons. So let's talk a little bit more about acids. So our acids are donating protons, or in this case donating hydrogen ions, same thing. So remember your hydrogen plus one ion, now remember it's plus one because it gave away an electron, is a proton. So here's an example equation for you, and I'm going to show this to you graphically in just a moment. If we have ammonia and we have water, they will form ammonium and a hydroxide ion. Well, let's look at it. This ammonium used to be ammonia, but now it has an extra hydrogen. This water will form the hydroxide. Well, between water and hydroxide, we have won fewer hydrogens. So that means the water gave a hydrogen to the ammonia and it became ammonium. So the water in this case is acting as our acid. So what is the acid here? It's the water because the water gave away a hydrogen and the ammonia accepted it. So how do we know what's going on? We'll use some guidelines. First thing, if the arrow in your equation or the yield sign only points to the right, always read your equation in the forward direction only. The answer must come from this left side of the equation. These are the things doing the donating and accepting. On the right, we have our products. We're looking at those as the result or the end product of what happened in this reaction. Our acid is always identified before the donation takes place. And we'll look at a few more examples together in just a moment. Let's look at our bases. So hold on, wait a minute, I promise you an example, here we are. So here's our ammonia and our water. When we mix them together, the water is going to give away a hydrogen to the ammonia. That turns the ammonia into our ammonium, and our water is now a hydroxide ion. And that's why in this case, 
our water is acting as an acid, and you may be thinking, wait a minute, water is an acid? Well, it's a bronsted Lowry acid, or an alternative theory acid, because it gave away its hydrogen. Now, what about bases? Well, if acids are donating protons, then bases are accepting them. So your base accepts the protons, and here's an example. Here we have hydrochloric acid reacting with water. In our products, we have hydronium and a chloride ion. So this means that our hydrochloric acid has donated a proton to the water, so the water became hydronium. That means in this case, our base is the water because the water is accepting a hydrogen ion. So sometimes water can be a bronsted lowry acid and sometimes it's a base. So here's our guideline. If the arrow only points to the right, we're always going to read our reaction in the forward direction only. Our answer, once again, must come from the reactants. And our base is identified before this acceptance takes place. So let's look at an example here. Here's our hydrochloric acid and our water. Here are our two products, hydronium and chloride. Well, we look at our evidence we're given. Here we have a chloride ion. Well, that had to have come from our hydrochloric acid. Our hydrochloric acid gave away its hydrogen to the water, which then formed hydronium. And because the acid was donating the hydrogen and the water accepted it, that makes the hydrochloric acid our acid and the water our base. Let's look at an example. Which one of these four species would be the acid in the following reaction? I'm going to give you a moment to try. So really what I'm asking you is, which one of our reactants was donating a hydrogen in this reaction? Well, here it would be the phosphoric acid donated the hydrogen. Because if you look on the left, we have three hydrogens in this acid. And on the right, we had two which means it gave one away. Where did it go? It went to this hydrogen sulfide ion to form hydrogen disulfide. So what would be the base in this reaction? Well, the base would be the hydrogen sulfide ion because it accepted the hydrogen that the phosphoric acid gave away. Let's look at another one. In this reaction, what is acting as the base? Now remember, our rule is add ba. Acids donate, bases accept. So what on the reactant side of the equation is accepting a hydrogen ion? Well, in this case, our base will be our ammonia. Because if we look on the right, we have ammonium has one more hydrogen than the ammonia. That means that the acid, which is the hydrogen sulfide, or hydrogen disulfide, gave its hydrogen to the ammonia, forming ammonium. And because this accepted a hydrogen, that means it's the base. So what would be the acid in this reaction? If you said the H2S, then you're absolutely right. That would be the acid in this reaction. Let's try another example. Label both the acid and the base in the following reaction. So which of our four species is our acid? Which one is our base? So if you tried to identify which one was donating its hydrogen and which one was accepting it, then you would have said that the phosphoric acid was our acid and the water was acting as our base. 
All right, so that's it for Bronsted Lowry Acids and Bases. We're going to have you do a little practice and um, see how you're getting the hang of it. In our next practice, we'll be looking at reactions between acids and bases.